Welcome back, this is the Jack, and today we got Gunslinger and uh, that. We'll, we'll just try that one again. Welcome back, this is the Jack, and today we got Airship Gunslinger Suicidal, and uh, I tried TF2 today for the first time, like ever, I think. I, I might have given it a, a brief try, like many, 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 many years ago. Um, but, uh,. Nothing that I have any memory of, really. But I gave it a try today. One of my uh, one of my close friends, one of the uh, one of the most important people to me, wanted to play. And when when somebody you know who you're really close with is like, hey, I really want to do this thing. You want to try it? And it's free. And it, the investment is like low. And the worst case scenario is that you just don't enjoy the game. You don't really say no, right? Like, there's, there's, there's no real reason to say no to that, you know? It's, it's definitely a highly yesable situation. Um, so I, you know, I, I, I downloaded TF2 and uh, joined her server. And a couple of, a uh, couple of our other friends hopped on as well. We played uh, some three v one with me and uh, the couple of our friends that joined on versus her. Uh, because, you know, I'm a detriment to whatever team I'm on, so, you know, 3v1 is really 1v1 when you take into account that I'm holding the team back, as somebody who has never played the game before, and, uh, turns out I actually, I don't think I was holding the team back all that much, I think I was probably roughly equivalent in, uh, in performance to, um, the other people. Not, 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 uh, not uh, not the, the not the opposing player. She was phenomenal, way better than me. <laughs> but uh, my team, I don't think I was. Oh dearie, did I buy pistol ammo? My team, I think I was fairly equal to. Uh, other than like you know game knowledge and and uh, and just kind of understanding where everything is and, and being able to recognize things and, and seeing them and stuff like that. Um, my my technical prowess with a, with the mouse pointing at things is. You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna say I'm second to none. I won't even say I'm like thousandth to none, or even like probably hundred thousandth to none. But uh, I'm not bad. <laughs> you know, I I can point and click on things, right? And at the end of the day, that's what TF2 is for the most part. So, you know, even though I don't really get the the movement of it necessarily. And I don't, uh, I don't recognize where the, the health packs are, and um, you know, I have an internalized you know, spread and recoil and all this kind of stuff that, uh, that you kind of need to know to be able to play a game at a high level. You know, I'm not able to air strafe very well, and you know, lots and lots and lots of problems with uh, with my ability to play the game. But ultimately, I can click on things pretty well, so I, I didn't end up pulling the team back as much as I thought I would. Um, but it's saying, like, I didn't really enjoy it that much. Um, the game, anyway. Like, I had fun. We, we played for an hour and a half or something. Hour, two hours, maybe? Uh, about, about an hour and a half-ish, two hours. Some, somewhere in that kind of general-ish range. Um, and, you know, the time itself was, was fun. I, I don't, uh, regret having spent the time playing. Uh, and I'd do it again, you know, if, uh... If she wanted to, because I mean, again, it's like you know, I, I really like her. She's she's one of my, uh, I mean, I would consider anyway to be to be one of my closest friends. And if, if she wants to play, then like, whatever. <laughs> I don't like the game, but like we're still just gonna be like kind of having a good time together. It doesn't really matter what we do personally. Um, I'm just happy to be, uh, you know, chatting and and uh, hanging out or whatever, right? Uh, so, I'm, I'm a very laid-back individual when it comes to that kind of stuff, you know? I'm, I'm mostly just happy to do things with people I like. It doesn't really matter what it is. But uh, the game itself wasn't really my cup of tea. Um, for one, one of, one of the major things for me was the, uh, the sniper was a... Um, like in and then click again to come out you know like so you scope and then unscope uh, i like holding it down more personally which i know it's not 
set up like that here. Um, I, do, I don't use the scopes, though. You know? So, eh. I just don't really care. Um, I, I don't scope. And uh, when I do, on uh, on sharpshooter, you know, if I if I am you know aiming down sights or whatever, if I'm using the scope or or, or whatever, um, you know, for for me, I, I actually in that circumstance, in that specific circumstance in this game with you know the weapons I use on uh, on sharpshooter and the playstyle I kind of take on with sharpshooter, I uh, I actually I prefer the um, the, the the toggle zoom. Um, but in in more like fast paced competitive environments, uh, I like being able to just kind of like zoom in and then like quickly leave the zoom. You know, I don't like having to click. Um, I, I like it to be. For me, it's, it it kind of it kind of boils down to you know the the fundamental like physical you know what's happening to it, right? So if I have to click. Um, then that's, you know, I'm pushing down, I'm adding energy to the, to the mouse, right? Whereas if I have to let go of the, the thing, then I'm, like, removing energy from the mouse. And for me, that's just much more natural in the, in the fast-paced, uh, kind of stuff with the, the competitive shooters. Um, whereas with a slower thing, I, I don't want to have to hold down my, my finger for, like, you know, five minutes or something. I, uh, I I prefer the the toggle, but uh, so I tried sniper. I really liked it when I was like doing it, but just too often I'd end up holding down and, and it would just like <laughs> and it just kept going in and out and in and out. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna have a seizure. It's terrible, just terrible. Did not like it at all. Um, so I, uh, I tried a couple of different classes. I tried heavy. Didn't really like heavy either, um, cause it like you got to put out a lot of bullets and that was fun. But at the end of the day, they weren't very accurate. You had to be up close and personal. You didn't get to move very quick, so you were kind of just a sitting duck. Um, and uh, yeah, just just in general, heavy wasn't very fun for me. Um, I never really enjoy pyros in games. Like even in this game, I I don't really you know. Uh, where is it? Firebug, 14. It's like one of my lowest perks. I just, I don't enjoy that kind of playstyle too much. I mean, it's fun from time to time to go around and burn things, but it, it gets old really, really quickly for me. Um, there was also the soldier, which used the, the rockets and, and rocket jumped and stuff, you know? Which, uh, that's fun. But uh, for me, the rockets are just too slow. You know, I don't. I I like hit scan weapons. Is is what it boils down to, right? And uh, the rockets, they're they're firing a projectile. So for me, it was just like, eh. I'd rather just like not. <laughs> I'd I'd rather just not really. Um, so, uh, you know, I tried a couple of different classes. I tried the, uh, demo, which again, it was just a projectile and very slow. Um, and then I tried, uh, I didn't try spy, I didn't try medic. They just didn't interest me, really. A medic actually might interest me, but, uh... TF2 for me is just, ah, I don't know. So I just ended up uh, playing Scout for most of it because you got to go a little bit quicker. Uh, yet, uh, I don't know if it was hit scan or not. I'm assuming it is, but if it isn't hit scan, the bullets traveled quite quickly. Um, so it was, it was you know acceptable, anyway, and. Uh, Yeah, so I, I just played demo really for for the vast majority of uh, of the time that we were in there, and uh, I had a good time for the most part. You know, I uh, I enjoyed it. 
had fun playing with uh, with the friends and having a good time. But yeah, it, it really like I, I I was aware that I didn't really like TF2 before, because just just for me, that whole idea of the like fantasy shooter kind of stuff just doesn't do it for me. Like Overwatch, um, Valorant, um, which I think is also fantasy. TF2, um, Fortnite. You know, these these don't interest me. The the games that I am interested in are, are ones that have more realistic gunplay. KF2, um, uh, you know, Call of Duty Warzone kind of interests me as well. To be honest with you, um, yeah. But uh, the 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 more cartoony stuff just it doesn't do it for me. You know. I, I just I can't really enjoy it so much. So, outside of playing with uh, with friends who ask me to, TF2 is probably never going to get played. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm only ever gonna play it with friends who want because I'm only ever gonna have fun with it if I'm playing with friends and uh, kind of having fun together. Everything gets more fun when you when you have friends, right? So. But it was, a, it was a good experience. I, I now get to say that I played TF2. So when people say, hey, you should play TF2, and I'd be like, ah, I don't really like it. Like, have you ever tried it? And I say no. And they get mad at me for not trying it. I can be like, yeah, I have tried it, actually. And, uh, yeah, it's not that good. Honestly, like, right from the start, it was just a bad experience. Um, right when I started up TF2, it, it had me in, like, 1168 by 642 or something stupid like that. Um... So I had to like fix that. There's no borderless window options, so you have to like restart the game and put it into the launch options. No border or whatever. And then, um, you know, the uh, motion blur is on by default. The field of view is default like 70 or something, which is not good. Um, Switching weapons by default requires you select the weapon and then click, which is asinine in in my opinion. Um, so I'd like fix that. The ping shows up as bars instead of numbers by default, which again, why bars don't mean anything? Um, yeah, just just like the whole experience of playing TF2 was just bad. Um, I would have I would have considered it a complete waste of time <laughs> to have done any TF2 today, uh, were it not for the fact that I was playing with friends. Uh, because I was, I, I had a good time. You know, the the alternative here wasn't go play something else. The alternative here was don't play with your friends. And I'm like, no, I I, I would rather play TF2 with my friends than do something else. Like, I don't like the game, but I like my friends, so. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Um, and, uh... So, yeah. No, it was it was a good experience, though. I, I can understand why a lot of people would like it. It was a, it was a very satisfying, um, like, game from, like, a movement perspective. Um, but... Mm. Not for me. You know, the, the base engine, I get it, you know? It's it's a very satisfying feeling uh, game. Just, uh... What I, what I want is I want guns that are like normal guns and do normal gun things and then kill people in normal amounts of hits, you know? That's, that's what I want. I want to get like a... You know, I want give me give me like a like a a bullpup, you know, something. Give me like an M1911, no, uh, M1611 or something like that. Um, M1911 is a pistol. Like an M16. Give me a you know, give me a Schneidzek. Give me a. You know, some some kind of this gun. Don't give me a rocket launcher that I shoot at my feet to like launch me into the air. It's it's fun for a bit, but it just 
it, it loses the, 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 the appeal very quickly for me. Um, whereas something that just has very good gunplay, just it doesn't lose that excitement and, and, uh, and interest for me as, as quickly, nearly as quickly. Um, so. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's fine. I don't want to complain too much about it, because ultimately it was a good experience, and I will happily play with friends again. You know? Basically, you know, if, I have, if I'm not doing anything and she wants to play TF2, like, it's almost always going to be better than, you know, whatever else I would have done by myself. You know? So. <laughs> I'll probably play again, but just uh, not not by myself. It's, uh... I was, I was kind of hoping that it would make it onto the list of, of games that I enjoy playing. Um, just at, on their own merits. But it just, it absolutely does not at all. Unfortunately. I was hoping it would so that I could, uh, you know, start to put hours into it and, like, you know, be competitive with uh, with my friends and 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 uh, you know start to have uh, a little bit more fun on uh, on a higher level of of play. But you know, I don't enjoy it, so <laughs> that won't be happening. Uh, I might get better as we play. Uh, well, I'll definitely get better as we play more um, and more of the game. Um, if uh, if she actually asks, I had a good time, so I'd, I'd be down for more. Um, not with anybody else, though. I only want to play with friends. You know, I want it to be a private match with just friends. I did, like, it's just not a fun game to me. You know? But, uh, yeah, I'll get better at it over time as we play more, and, and uh, I'll be able to put up more of a fight. To me, it's, like, you know, I'm, I'm really good at some games, right? Um, and, uh, it's, it's always, it's fun for a bit when you're introducing somebody to a game who's new at it um, and you're kind of playing against them and whatnot and you know you're demolishing because they're new to the game and they don't know what they're doing and um, you know they're not used to the controls they're not used to the the movement they're not used to, to all of the all of the things that uh, they might need to have to, to be able to be competitive with you it's fun for a bit as you're kind of teaching them and they're learning and, and you have this sort of excitement and you know, kind of like mentoring kind of thing going on, right? It's fun for a bit, but then, you know, after a while, you kind of get to a point where you're just like, you know, I can't really teach you anything. Um, you know what you have to do, you're just not good at it. And uh, it's, it stops being fun at that point, because at that point it just becomes like, you know, I'm not teaching you anymore, I'm just target practice, you know what I mean? Um, so I, I like to, 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 to focus on being better at things and, and kind of review what I'm doing and understand how uh, how to be better and stuff like that when I when I play games with people just so that I don't end up annoying. Like it, takes, it takes a long time to get to that point, right? To, to get to the point where, where your friends are like, I just, you're not fun to play with because you really, really suck. You know, like it, it takes a long time to, oh my god, it takes a very long time to get there, because that novelty of, of teaching your friend, it doesn't wear off for, for quite a while, you know, but it does eventually. So, um, you know, I like to try and get better, just so that it doesn't happen. And uh, better I shall get, I'll never be at the point of like being a competitive, you know, TF2 player, I just don't care to. You know, they get into, like, weird stuff, too, like, stretching their resolution so everything looks wider and they can, like, see things easier or whatever. Like, it's, it's weird stuff that, uh, that people do to, to get better at these games. Like, just really, really weird stuff. I'm like, I don't know. I, I can't see myself, like, caring enough about a game to the point where I, like, sacrifice the visuals to be better at it. Personally, I mean, other people do, and it's like there's nothing wrong with that. Like, if you value being better at the game so much that you'd want to do that, then like, don't let me stop you. Go for it. You know, I'm, ha I'm happy you're having more fun doing that. Like, it's fine. Uh, but personally, for me, I just I can't see that uh, that being the case. And if that's what's needed to to like be competitive on a high level, like doing a lot of that kind of stuff, sacrificing the 
your enjoyment of the game to a certain extent, at least mine, to be better. It's just, it's just not... You know, uh, Worcester, I believe, is his name. He's a Pokemon and Sonic speedrunner, I believe, um, over on Twitch. Uh, I remember he was asked a long time ago about why he doesn't speedrun Pokemon in uh, the Japanese versions of the game. Uh, because it was faster, because there was less, like, units of text. And otherwise they were identical for, for a lot of the games. A lot of games are like that, actually. Where uh, we're playing in the uh, the Japanese version will be faster because the text just takes less time to, to render. Uh, because you know, there, there's just less, fewer text boxes because the characters hold more, more information, like individually. Um, you know, uh, because the the text just happens to go by faster on Japanese, um, because they fit more stuff into a single like message box. You know, there, there's a lot of reasons why the Japanese version is better for speedrunning, um, and sometimes it doesn't have to do with the text, like uh, for Path of Radiance. Um, the Japanese version is actually way slower on, like, almost all respects. Except that there's a bug in the Japanese version that lets you get, like, 255 chance to, to crit uh, on your weapons that doesn't exist in any other version, only in the Japanese version. Um, so even though it's so much worse on, like, every... Res from, like, every, you know, possible stance that you, you look at it, um, just because of that one thing where you're getting crits so often and just completely destroying uh, everything with uh, with those crits, those really powerful you know hits with uh, with whatever weapon you have, um, just because of that kind of outweighs all of the the time loss that you get from from the the Japanese version um, having slower text rendering or whatever and um, like different AIs working differently and. So it's not always about the text that uh, why people are playing the Japanese version, but usually it is the text. It, it, it renders faster, there's just fewer characters, whatever, right? Um, so anyway, he was asked why he doesn't play on the on the Japanese version of Pokemon, even though it's faster and he's a speedrunner. He's like, I just, I don't want to. Like, he, I, I believe he said that um, Pokemon is a, uh, it's a game that is like, all about what the text says, you know? Like, there isn't visual information that's important that isn't text. If, you, if you're playing it in a language that you can't understand, even though you can memorize the position of all the items, and, you know, you can memorize, you know, what the different things look like, so you understand how to play the game, and you can do it effectively, and you end up getting a faster time because you're playing in the Japanese version, you, you, you don't really understand, and especially your viewers aren't going to understand, so he's like, I just... If it gets to the point where people are, you know, going over to the Japanese version of the game so they can be faster, then, like, I'm just not gonna. And, uh, I think it's kind of a similar thing, right? If you just don't have fun, if you just don't want to do it, then, uh, don't bother. I forget why we came onto this topic, but... Um... I actually completely forget why. Yeah, no, like, I, 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 I wouldn't want to, to like, sacrifice my, uh, my visual performance in a game for, for some kind of competitive benefit. To me, the, the visuals are, are equally as important. You know, and to other people, that's, that's just completely wrong and, and not true at all for them. But, you know, we're, we're all different people. We all have different opinions and beliefs on the, on the matter, so... Yeah. Anyway, the moral of the story, I guess, is, uh, is I don't like TF2. I tried it. It's not for me. I didn't think it would be though. I was I was very confident it uh, it would be. It it wouldn't be. Again, it's just, I just I don't like the fantasy shooters. You know. Just don't 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 like it so much. I also, for the record, I don't like uh like the 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 bullet drop either. I'm not a fan of that. So a lot of games that uh, that go too far in the realism for me. I like hit scan. I like really good feeling guns with hitscan. Is that so hard to ask for? That's why I like KF2 so much. 
Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like, subscribe for more of the future comment. If you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.